There are fears that council workers and residents across Sydney's southwest may have been exposed to asbestos. It's believed that thousands of tonnes of contaminated dirt may have been dumped in development sites close to schools and playgrounds. Liverpool Council and the Environmental Protection Authority are investigating. Mohamed Taha has more. John Davies has lived in Hammondville in southwest Sydney for the past 45 years. In September, he received a letter from Liverpool Council stating there was asbestos contaminated soil across the road. He was told it would be cleaned up within five days. It's still there. We thought that uh, councils would have been more responsible than that. The issue surrounding unlawfully dumped soil was the focus of an extraordinary council meeting. An EPA investigation is already underway, but now workers are worried about their safety. We've had members crying because uh, they know that the effects of uh, contamination by asbestos is long term, uh, a very debilitating death. This depot in Kemp's Creek is where workers unknowingly handled and distributed contaminated fill to council work sites. The ABC has learned these 15 locations are being tested by the EPA for asbestos contamination. This includes an area near Kasula High School and another near a cricket ground at Rosedale Park in Warwick Farm. And there are concerns the full extent of the contamination could be even more widespread. A lot of the footpaths that have been um, built by us in the last 18 months to two years have, have used this backfill. However, the council says the EPA's advice is that the asbestos poses a very low risk. It's in uh, solid form. Asbestos is only a problem if it's in airborne form. So it's not a public hazard at the moment. This depot where authorities are investigating the contaminated soil was stored has now been closed and council staff are no longer allowed to enter the site. So far, the estimated fine and cleanup bill is expected to be more than $4 million. Liverpool Council is offering health tests for workers. Mohamed Taha, ABC News, Sydney.